It's finally here. The penguin. Hey everyone, welcome back to Keep King. In this video, we will be unboxing a ton of puzzles that I found online, whether it be a wacky shape mod or a fidget spinner. These puzzles are very fun and I definitely recommend them. And before we start the video, why don't you go down under the video and click, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and enjoy. Okay, so first turns, and it looks pretty good for a non cubic cube corner cutting. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's pretty good. Especially for a non cube. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick solve, and then we'll get on to the rest of the unboxing. Okay, so. This is what it looks like scrambled. <laughs> Look at that face. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of inspection and get on to the solving. This cube is amazing. I don't know what to say. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Uh. What? No. Um, okay, this one. Okay, that's right. Oh. Wait, no. Okay. Yes! 4578. <laughs> yes. This cube is so fun. Was this cube worth its $14 that it was? Yes, 100%. You should definitely buy this cube. It is perfect. Ah, moving on, I'm gonna go for this one right over here. This is the Chi 1x3x3 spinner. You open it up. And yeah. That spins very nicely. Very quiet. I don't know if you can hear. That looks very cool. And let's do some first turns. That's pretty cool. Um, I think it might have ball bearings in it. I can feel a bit of a snap, but not a magnetic one. And I think, yeah, this also shape shifts. So, I can do some cool stuff like this. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna do a solve on this one, just cause it, it it's not really that fun. It's uh, super floppy cubes are very easy. So let's move on to the next one. If I had to answer that, if this is worth it, um. Definitely awesome having the added feature of the spinning, but any normal super floppy cube works just fine. Um, I don't really think it was worth the f 15 or $14 that it was, but it still is pretty cool. So, I mean, if you got the money, why not? And here we have the banana cube. Here it is. Ooh, that feels very nice. It's a lot different compared to the penguin. And yeah, this is definitely a banana. So that's your first turns. <laughs> what the heck? Look at this. So this is a two by two by three. And yeah, it looks very, very fun. I'm not going to solve it because I do not know how to solve a 2x2x3. Two two um, pew, 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 pew. This is a fun, this is, what, how did, I was just mess 
around and this, this happened. Oh, my goodness. I was right there. It's pretty cool. Um, let's move on to the next one. Okay. Moving on. Here we have the ball three by three. This thing is very funny. I like it. Uh, let's get a normal 3 by 3 over here. They're about the same. Same size. Let's see some patterns. Got a dots pattern. Uh, let's do a checkerboard. That is pretty cool. I'd say it's worth it for $6, I think. Not the greatest turning, but... And, and it's also a little bit loud, but I think it's worth it. Okay, moving on. The 2x2 two two Master Morphics. I saw this puzzle. I thought about it for a second, and then I immediately needed to understand it. Um, and so it doesn't turn by the corners like a, like a pyraminx. So you have to look at it like a 2x2, two two, like that. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see if I can do a checkerboard. Um, I think I'm lost. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> Great. I thought I was. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is pretty. Oh no. Look at this. It's like a flower. Honestly, I kind of felt like it. I don't know. It Something about it. Not as impressive as I was expecting. You know what? Let's do a solve. I'm going to scramble this up. Okay, so I've scrambled it up and I'm going to try to do a solve. Um, okay, that's, oh my god, okay, let's see, I'm trying to get the corners in, okay, so that's right, I got blue blue, I just need to get this thing right here, uh, oh, here, there we go, and what is happening here, how does this even work? Let's look at it like a two by two. <laughs> uh, I I don't know what I I don't know. <sighs> oh, what's this? An instruction. Okay, so everything is in Chinese, so that's not very helpful. So okay, so it's explaining corners and centers. Um, I think it's explaining, uh, to scramble it, wait. So, I think I have to move it up here. Move it out of the way. Uh, how does this work? Okay. So this needs to go here. Move it away. Put it back. That did something. Uh, let's try it again. Is that turn work? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what? I'd say that's close enough. Oh, I solved it. Okay, now I'm putting away my solved 2x2 two two Master Markets. And it looks like it's time for the more serious cubing measures. This is the X-Men Volt V2. It's a square one. And I have never actually solved a square one. Ah. I am gonna try it out. Got 
some plastic wrap. Uh, do we have anything else in the box? Yeah, we have... What is this? An extra spring. How do I get this out? Okay, it's almost out. It's almost out. Here it is. Honestly, for the first time seeing a square one, I thought it would be bigger. Uh, let's compare it to a normal 3x3. Three three. Uh, yeah, it's just like a tiny bit, tiny bit smaller. Okay, so let's do our first turns. Oh, yeah, that is definitely magnetic. Wow. That is very nice. I can just feel every single position clicking perfectly in. That is very nice. So, maybe sometime in the future, I will do a square one video. Um, so stay tuned for that, I guess. Whoa! <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. So, I think how you solve a squared one is you get it back into its cube shape once it's like, yeah, this turn, this cube turns very nice and smooth and you can easily feel that magnetic click in there. And every position along the top size and bottom size is magnetized, which is very amazing. Uh, no visible magnets. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's a cool cube. So, I've scrambled it, but at least I got it back into cube shape. But, yeah, I think this puzzle is amazing and that you should, I mean, if you have the money and you're willing to go try out square one, I, yeah, this would be a great cube for you. So, yeah, stay tuned. That's all for this unboxing. Thanks for joining us. One and if you enjoyed and you're excited for the upcoming content, then go down to that description, ring the bell, subscribe, leave a like and comment. And that's all for today. See you later. Oh no!